I uh, unfortunately have to rise in opposition to this bill. If you intentionally transmit HIV or any other communicable disease that's life fundamentally life altering to the victim, of course you should be, uh, of course you should be charged, and you should go to jail. And I'll tell you why. How is this different than if I took a baseball bat, beat you with it, and then turned around and uh, you had the health care costs moving forward, you had brain injury, you're never the same. You'll never fully live your life to the same extent that you did prior to that uh, confrontation with that person. Now look, the critical word in this is intentionally. When you intentionally harm others, when you intentionally put others at risk, you should have responsibility. And for that reason, I will not be supporting this bill, and I urge you not to as well. And I get the author is trying to do something good, and I, I certainly respect the author. But on this bill, I think that he has it wrong. I urge a no vote. First, just for clarification, uh, I agree with my colleague. That's why if this bill was about including all those contagious diseases that are life-altering, that, that fundamentally change your life, I would be for the bill because I'd want to include all of them, because I think anybody who transmits a disease that fundamentally changes your life forever and incur, forces you to incur incredible medical costs is despicable and they should go to jail. And it doesn't matter which disease. And this isn't about HIV, it's about all diseases that you inflict upon others as uh, uh, purposefully. So uh, that doesn't change my position, but I just want to be clear, I'm for all the diseases to be included.